welcome viewers to another episode on SUG12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the 2020 GCE Science Paper 1. So now we are looking at question e, C2. So if you haven't seen the other episode please check out on our YouTube channel. Remember it is imperative that you do extensive revision for you to ace your G12 exams. So the question leads, figure C2.1 below shows how a solar heater on a house roof is used to warm up water for a house. So what we have, we have the storage tank, which is a tank for storing heated water. Then, of course, we have the glass cover, then we have black panel, we have insulation, then we have a network of water pipes. Question M, why is the panel in the solar heater black? So the question is, why is this black? That's what we need to explain. So let me utilize this space to answer M. So the reason is because black colors are good absorbers of heat. So what the heater does it absorbs the solar energy, then convert it into heat energy, which is used to heat water. So the reason is because black colors are good absorber of heat. So this is how you need to think when you're answering me uh, this question. Let us look at question B. Why is there an insulating layer behind the panel? So when you come here and look at the figure, there is this insulating layer, this, which we are calling insulation. Why is it there? That's what you need to answer. Then B. And insulating so this insulating layer keeps the surface from becoming too cold quickly that's the purpose so these spaces that we are seeing here cools down more slowly unless it is required. So these spaces create as an insulation which prevent the quick loss of heat. That's the purpose. We look at question C. How does the water in the tank get heated? Which is uh, this one. So when you come here, what we are saying is how does this water in the tank get heated? That's what we need to explain. So I can put C here. So how does it get heated? So a black, this black color, the black absorbing surface inside the collectors, so we have collectors inside the solar, here just on top here, collectors, absorbs solar radiation, so it absorbs solar radiation, so when the solar radiation comes here and hits here, is these collectors on top of this black surface, so we have black surface here which is absorbing the radiation from the sun, then the collectors beneath here are collecting that radiation and turning it into heat energy. Then and so a black absorbing surface inside the collectors absorb solar radiation and transfer the heat energy to water. So to water, I'm going to light here so that I use space to water flowing through it. That's how 
the water get heated so the water as it's being pumped here it turns here then the collectors are getting this solar radiation and then converting into heat energy which eats this water which is passing through here once the water gets heated it it is stored in this storage tank so remember the heated water is lighter then the cold water is heavier so the cold water is becoming heavier and coming down here being pumped then when heated it goes here then when it's here heated is on top the cold down comes down here again that process continues that's how it works question d on average each square meter of the solar panel receives 1000 joules of energy from the sun every second using this information calculate the power input in kilowatts of the panel if its surface area is 2 meters square so what do we have on average we have each square meter which is 1 meter square would receive these joules of energy remember 1 kilowatt is the same as 1000 joules so what we are saying is 1 meter square would give us 1 kilowatt which is this 1000 joules every second then we need to use this information to calculate the power input in the solar which should be given in kilowatts if the surface area of the solar panel is now 2 meters square so we just use proportion here then cross multiply so it will be now this times that we are going to have x meters square is equal to then this one multiplied by that one which will be 2 meter square kilowatt then to find the x we divide by meter square by meter square that and that so x is equal to this one and this one cancels is 2 kilowatts as in the answer so this is how you answer this question we look at question e the solar heater in the diagram has an efficiency of 60 percent that is it wastes 40 percent of the solar energy it receives what area of panel would be needed to deliver heat at the same rate on average as in a three kilowatt emission heater so what is an emission heater so an emission heater is the case you can have those bucket heater then this heater is inside the liquid so now if you're warming water the water will be in direct contact with the heater so in this case efficiency is 100 percent there is no loss of uh, energy received so now from this one we know that 40 percent is wasted so if let us say we are looking for this amount of energy that should act as an input then we need to end up with him this three kilowatts but 40 percent is wasted of x so only remaining with 60 percent so this is uh, multiplied by 60 percent so 60 percent of x should give us three kilowatts so what we end up with is basically 0 0.6 which is the same as 60 percent of x must be equal to three kilowatts then we divide by that with then by that then x is equal to that and that so x is equal to 5 kilowatts so if you are using the emission eater would do just require 3 kilowatts but since we are using this solar heater which is this one which is only in 60 percent efficient for us to generate the 3 kilowatts as output we need 5 kilowatts as input because 40 percent is wasted and 40 percent of 5 is 2 kilowatts which is wasted now this is the input that we need now from the previous question we are told that on average this one 
every 1 meter square will give us in 1 kilowatt. So what area, because the question is asking us to find the area, what area do we need for us to generate 5 kilowatts? That's what we need to solve for. So again here we use direct proportion. So we cross multiply, so this one multiplied by that one, then this one multiplied by uh, that one. So it will be x times 1 kilowatt, so we are going to have x kilowatts is equal to 1 meter square times 5 kilowatts, it will be 5 meter square kilowatts. Then we divide by kilowatt, then by kilowatt. So this and that cancels, then that and that cancels. So x is equal to 5 meters square. That's it, the area that would need for us to generate 5 kilowatts so that when 40% is wasted, which is 2 kilowatts, we end up with 3 kilowatts of heat energy. So this is how you answer this question to get the 10 marks. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question C3.